Hello everyone, it's Judy and welcome to Smart Voice Stories. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and walking you through setting up the Mi Band 8. The Mi Band 8 so since the Mi Band 7. This was released um, last month, I think uh, on the 18th of April 2023. The Mi Band 8 was released and this actually looks more stylish than its predecessor. So I'm going to open this up and as you can see this is the Chinese version. The global version is not yet launched. Okay, so I have to order this from AliExpress. I have extra screen protector. I also have additional strap. I have to order this. One of the spectacular attractions of the Mi Band 8 is that you can now wear this in different way. You can attach this to your running shoe. You can wear this as a pendant and it also has more stylish straps than like its processor so i had to order this i mean this looks um, very, very stylish i'm going to open it up so you can see so guys this is what the this bracelet looks like it looks very stylish right and unlike this where you have to remove this this can now be attached okay to the mi band 8. so guys i'm going to open this up The strap is quite different, okay? It is still the same um, pin design, okay? But it's quite um, different, you can see. And this is the band itself. I'm gonna open this up. So you can see the Mi Band 8. I mean, this looks very, very stylish. I mean, for the very first time, we have a Mi Band 8 that actually looks very, very stylish, okay? This is not metal. This is NCVM um, coating, okay? That leaves the frame here with a shiny metal appearance. Right, I'm gonna just um, clear my table. So to set up the Mi Band 8, like the Mi Band 7, you need the Mi Fitness app. The Mi Fitness app is the main companion app for these devices. You can also use the Zep Life app, okay, to set up this, okay? One thing I notice is that with the Zep Life app, you can be able to reply to messages with preset quick replies. That option is not available on the Mi Fitness app, okay? Though the Mi Fitness app is the official app. So I'm going to use the Mi Fitness app to set up the Mi Band 8. All right, guys, if you don't have the Mi Fitness app on your phone, simply go to the Google Play Store and search for Mi Fitness. So if you're using an iPhone, go to the App Store and search for Mi Fitness app. The Mi Band 8 here is compatible with Android and iPhone. I will just go ahead to pair the Mi Band 8 to work with my phone. Um, this is the Chinese version like I mentioned initially. I will just tap on English here and I will tap on the Mi Fitness app. All right, the Mi Fitness app has launched. I will tap on the plus icon at the top there and I will tap on add device. Now, one thing you should note is that when you tap on add device at the top here, you will not find the Mi Band 8 here, okay? And that is because this is the Chinese version. From what I have learned, the Chinese version is configured to only work for people who are resident in China. So what we're gonna do here is to change our country or region to China and then pair the Mi Band 8. That is the only workaround for this, okay? Don't worry, you can always have all your data back if you're already connected to a previous model like Mi Band 7. So to do this, we'll just go back and we'll go to the profile and we'll go to settings and I'm going to change the region here to China. Now, once you do this, you can see where it says you want to be able to view health metrics and all of that. So go ahead and just tap on continue. This will start the Mi Fitness app. Now go ahead and tap on start. I'm going to tap on the read and agree to our user agreement. Tap on agree. Now I can pair the Mi Band 8. So I'll tap on the plus icon here and I'll tap on our device. 
and this will scan for the Mi Band 8. One thing I also notice is that once you change the region, you will not still be able to find the Mi Band 8. So to fix this, I will simply close the app and I will relaunch the Mi Fitness app. So go ahead and tap on the plus icon, tap on add device, and the Mi Band 8 should show up in the list of devices. So I'm going to tap on this. Now we can go ahead to pair the Mi Band 8. Okay, it says connected to pair. Tap on the check mark here. It's paired and added. So guys, we have successfully paired the Mi Band 8 to my phone. Don't worry, like I mentioned initially, you can always go back to your region once the global version of the Mi Band 8 is launched. So go ahead and tap on Done, okay, to ensure stable connection. Go ahead and read through that. I'll tap on Continue. All right, guys, we have successfully connected the Mi Band 8 to work with my phone. And as you can see there, is uh this is a walkthrough you see um swipe up to view all apps swipe down to view notifications this is very similar to the mi band 7. so I'll go ahead and tap on next and it says swipe left to view different widgets customize widgets on your phone i'll go ahead and tap on next okay guys yeah um, it says uh quick control swipe right to view the control center i'll go ahead and tap on done and that is it okay you can enable notifications i will not sync all notifications i'll go with select notifications i'll do that later i'll tap on set okay this is the main fitness app i'll toggle this on allow notification access all right guys i'll go back so from here you can enable notifications for your preferred apps i'll just tap on door and i can do this later on uh, i mean coming calls and all of that i will do this later on dismiss uh, sync DND with phone, dismiss. Update to update to me by seven. Update to me by eight to latest version to take advantage of this. I will do that later. And quick goes, I'll do all of those later. Okay. So guys, that is how you can connect the Mi Band 8 to your phone. So let's walk through the device and see what it has. Okay. And when you swipe up, you can see the list of apps here, okay? And if you go to more, from here you can see Britain exercise app. We have the stopwatch, music, find my phone, one clock, uh, silence phone, camera, this is the remote camera control app, timer, flashlight, okay, and focus um, apps. Right, and to go back to the previous screen, just swipe um, right, okay? Now, if you swipe here, left or right, you can scroll through the widgets, okay? And if you swipe down, you get to see your notifications. So, guys, nothing much has changed with the Mi Band 8 compared to its predecessor, the Mi Band 7. The only main difference between these two is the design. Okay, you can see this is a an NCVM um, coating that leaves this with a metal shining appearance. The straps is now detachable, and this has more loaded sports modes than the Mi Band 7. And that is it for this video, guys. If you find this video helpful give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed click on that subscribe button to always get updates from me whenever i upload a video like this until next time guys goodbye